What's up guys, in this video I'll show you how to make this heat distortion effect in After Effects without any plugins. So you'll only need After Effects and yeah, let's get straight into the video. We'll make a new composition, tutorial, alright. Then we'll grab a clip, so I'll pick one from my last AMV that I made. This one. Okay, the first effect that you want to apply is a wave warp. So this should be in your After Effects already. Now you want to put wave type to smooth noise. Then make the height 15 and the wave width um, 1000. Alright, then you also want to put this spinning to all edges and make this setting also to high. Okay, then you uh, will get something like this. So it will kind of warp. I can also make it bigger for you so you'll really see these waves. Alright, then we're going to put it back to 15. And now you want to change the wave speed to 0.5. So it goes a little slower. All right, so this effect is also what you see when you uh, light a candle, for example. And then if you look behind the fire, you will see this kind of waving effect. And then there's also a blur, so we'll get into that. Okay, so before we continue, I just quickly want to say that if you need any more help with After Effects, and if you're a beginner that wants to improve on their anime editing skills, just go down in the description, the first link, and I'll be able to help you. Okay, so, so you want to make a new solid. You can press Ctrl plus Y, or you can... Uh, click here, new, and then solid. Uh, so then just name it something. Let's just call it noise. Because we're gonna add some noise on this solid. All right, then click on your solid and then uh, add an effect called fractal noise. It should also be in your After Effects already. Okay, then you want to leave this at basic. The contrast, you make it 90. Then brightness, just one. And then we're gonna clip the overflow. Okay, then we leave the complexity at 6. Okay, and then under sub settings, you want to make this 30, the sub influence. And then the sub scaling, you want to make it 100. Okay, then you want to center the sub scale. And the last thing is to animate it a little. So we'll go to the beginning. Then we'll make a keyframe here on the evolution. Go to the end. And then we're going to slide this value to the right. Maybe something like 4. And then you can see that it changes. We'll make it a little less though, like tree. All right, that looks better. Okay, then we're also gonna play around with the transform. So make a keyframe here, the offset turbulence, and then you're gonna go to the end and play around a little with it like that. Just so we got a little more movement. Okay, and then the last thing you want to do is change the scale. So next to scale, you want to make it 220. So now this is called our noise map. So we just made this and we'll use it for the blur. So everywhere where there's a black part, there will be a blur. And everywhere where there's white, um, there won't be a blur. So how to achieve that is to just make an adjustment layer and you can press Ctrl Alt plus Y or you can click here, new and then adjustment layer. Okay, then you want to uh, click on your adjustment layer and drag this um, icon here onto your nose. You should be able to see this icon here. If you don't, you can go here and you can enable the transfer controls. So that will make sure you see this. Uh, you can also enable some other things, but I don't really use them. So make sure this is enabled. Okay, then you want to click on this here. So you can toggle them. And we want the Luma map. So this is the alpha map. And that will basically only have a difference between black and white. Uh, but the Luma map also allows the gray parts to have an effect. Then you can try to invert it if you think it looks better. I'll invert it for now. And then you want to add an effect called camera lens blur. It should also be free. And I like to put it to 6. Alright, so that's it. Um, now you can see there's also some blur coming up. And if we'll play it through, you can see it even better okay so this is the heat distortion effect hopefully you've learned a lot and if you did make sure to subscribe and go down to the first link in the description all right bye bye